What's good everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kazim and I post college programming and lifestyle related content. So firstly, y'all, uh, I got videos coming. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you guys can expect a new video on my channel. So make sure you hit that post notification so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I have to post. And really before we even get into this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. So what are we even doing today? Today, we are gonna be making a shoe generator. We're gonna be coding it up using Python. And what is the purpose of this mini project? We're just pretty much gonna be playing around with Tkinter, which is a Python GUI, um, graphical user interface for anybody who doesn't know what that is. And we're gonna be making a shoe generator to generate our shoes for the day, what we wanna to wear today for our outfits, stuff like that. So it's just a fun little thing. And I'm thinking of doing a, another project where it's like choosing my whole outfit completely random and generating that but for today we're gonna focus on shoes we love shoes we love jays we love all of that so that's what we're doing today so many projects are perfect to put on your resume and i know a lot of you guys out there watching you guys know that so um that's something to keep in mind and i also posted a new free resume layout that helped me the same one that i use the same one that i made that helps me get interviews at google facebook amazon uber um i posted that on my website for you guys to go check that out and a lot it's been helping out hundreds of people which has been a really cool outcome and a lot of people have been giving me great feedback on it and how it's helping them so that's just a free resource that i put out there to help y'all out so make sure you click the link in my bio Look at my website and just follow the quick steps to get the free resume layout. So this is only my second code with me that I'm doing with you guys. The first one that I did was around the holiday time and it was a secret Santa. So we're gonna follow the same steps of that video. What we wanna do right now is first formulate a plan of what we want our shoe generator to be like. So firstly, what we want to do is gather a little bit of data and take some photos of all of the shoes that we want to be available in our shoe generator. I just used my iPhone to horizontally take pictures of the shoes that I wanted and I went ahead and put that on my laptop and stored that for when I coded up the project. And number two, like I said earlier, we want this to be a GUI. We want this to be as interactive with the user as possible and you know, just cool, fun, and quick. So we're gonna be using Tkinter. We're gonna be importing the Tkinter library into our Python script. And number three, of course, we're gonna be just generating a random shoe. So this is all gonna be completely random. Whatever shoe that we get, we're gonna be like, okay, I guess I'm going with this one for today. Python, you're choosing my shoes for the day. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into coding this project. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm starting off this project by just importing all of the necessary libraries. You guys can follow along with me. I'll have the GitHub repository down in the description so you can click the link, but just make sure that you have all of these libraries because we are going to be using them um, throughout the project. So right now I'm just creating the shoe generator class and I guess that's just what I like to do when I do these mini projects. I'll just create a class to stay organized. But right now I'm just working on the methods. I'm working on the start method, the create screen method. But if you guys at any point get confused or have any questions, feel free to just comment down below. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer any questions that I get down there. But right now I'm just pretty much creating the basis of the Tkinter window, everything that I'm gonna need, including the font and um, my count for my timer and the root. So you're gonna see in a moment how I create this window and how I create everything and go about it. But I'm just making it 600 by 600 just so we have that nice square on the screen. And right now I'm just looking up a background that I want to have, you know, make it a little creative, make it a little fun, have a little shoe background. So that's just what I'm doing right now. And you'll see that I test it out right here um, any second now. Yep, there we go. So I got my little t Kento window and um, I do test it out with the background and stuff. So 
So placing different frames and buttons and all of that on a uh, Tikenta window, it can be really tricky sometimes to just get the position of it because it's not like you could just click and drag where you want it to go. So um, you just really kind of have to play around with it and do a little bit of math to see, you know, what percent do I want from the size, um, from the top, the height, the width, all of that. So you just play around with that. And I definitely had to look up a bunch of resources um, just to kind of go through and make sure I'm actually doing what I want to do. So I'll link all of those resources down in the description for you guys to check out as well because it really, really helps me throughout this mini project. And yeah. So there's actually two main frames that I'm using. One is gonna be to show the shoe that I actually get. And then another frame is gonna be used for the button. And it's just sort of organizing and placing everything on the Tikenta window. But I actually have to still command the button to so that when you click it, it actually does what you wanna do. And yeah, there's a command parameter that you're gonna use for that. And it's just going to be sort of linked to your function that you create. So I'm just gonna call my function action and it's going to display the action and do whatever I want it to do um, when the button is clicked. And something that really came in handy is just using borders. Like borders, look, we gotta get that aesthetic look. We don't want it to be all over the place. So I just threw on a border for anything that kind of looked out of place and it really just added that extra, mm, you know what I'm saying, that extra, mm. So here I'm just creating the action of the button by just using this button action method. And what this is going to do is just gonna create sort of this timer like. Again, I had to do a lot of research and to get a timer into Kinter, you just sort of have to use this thing called after. Um, so self.root.after and it gives you, it allows you to pause the screen for however long. So I have it set to a thousand milliseconds, which is just one second. So I'm gonna do that for three seconds and then show my shoe. So you can kind of see it's like a timer. It's like three, two, one, boom. This is the shoe that you gotta wear for today. So for actually accessing the collection of photos that we took of our shoes, I'm gonna be using OS. So I imported that in the beginning of the program and this just allows you to put in a path and it'll give you a list of all of the file names so you can actually use that to open up the image on Tkinter. And with the whole idea with making this a random choice is we're gonna be using random.randint to sort of generate a random integer index within our shoe list. And once we have that random index, that's gonna just pretty much choose our shoe within our shoe list for us. So that's just sort of the idea behind the whole random process. So I did take those shoe pictures horizontally. So I'm just doing a little bit of resizing here so that it fits within my frame. Again, you know, we have to go for that aesthetic look. So it has to fit, you know, with a nice little border. So that's why I'm making it 450 by 350. So this is pretty much the final result. I'm running it, three, two, one. Boom, oh, okay, okay. So it looks like I'm going with those. Oh, twice. So <laughs> you can kind of see how this sort of works. It seems like they really want me to go with the blazers, but that's pretty much how this goes. And that's pretty much it. Yo, we made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and share with somebody that enjoys shoes. Share with somebody who's a sneakerhead and who likes to code. And maybe you know they could make this project as well. So that's it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.